Hello, I'm going to talk about physical protection measures in this video. So just to be clear on what a protection measure is in the context of information security, well, these are trying to protect against some risk. So they're trying to defend your organization from a risk you, you feel could happen. So for instance, you might have a firewall, which we'll look at in the next video, which is protecting some secure data from an attacker. So the firewall might be your protection measure, the data is kind of what you are trying to protect, and the hacker might be that risk. Okay, so the hacker doesn't go away because you've got this firewall, but the risk is lessened because of this protection measure. So there will still be a risk, you know, you can never completely eliminate risks, but ideally, because of your protection measures, it will have a smaller impact if it does happen, or be less likely. And of course, you want to have several protection measures and several layers of security in case one of them fails. Now, physical protection measures are a particular category of protection measures. So these are ones which protect the surroundings of a system. So we're talking about real life here. If you can walk up to a computer, well, that's not great security. And so these measures are trying to reduce the impact of an attacker just walking in and accessing the computers. So this is about real life, not about on the computer itself. So for example, one common physical measure is having security staff who are guarding certain rooms, who are patrolling, walking around, checking for intruders, and generally just checking on your secure areas. Right? They can challenge anybody who shouldn't be there, they can remove anybody who shouldn't be there, and they can just check things are locked up and are safe. Another common measure is if you've got lots of paper you know, records of various things which have been printed. Once you want to get rid of these, make sure they're completely destroyed. And shredding is a common way to do this. A shredder is where you put in the paper and it completely cuts it apart. And the idea being that you can sort of just put that in different bags, chuck it out, and nobody really is going to be able to read it. So the idea is, so anything important that's gonna get thrown out can't be easily read. If you just dumped all of the pages in a bin, well, somebody who's really, really keen could search through the bin and read the information. And that does happen sometimes. Shredding is a way to reduce that risk. Another sensible measure, which is really a policy, I would say, is having alternative locations for your backups. It is essential if you've got important data, you back it up. But the backing up is not really physical protection measures. The actual physical part of it is keeping the backup somewhere else. So keep that backup somewhere different from the original. Because the main location could be damaged and it could damage both your original and your backup. If there was a fire and it destroyed both your original server and your backup server, well, that defeats the whole point. So having a different location for your backup is important. And a similar ish one is considering things like flood levels. Now in certain parts of the country, certain parts of the world, this is not relevant, but in some places it is very relevant because there are certain places which flood every couple of years. You know, there might be a river next door which could easily flood if it rains quite a lot. And so if flood is a risk, make sure the computer systems are placed above expected flood levels. If you know the river bursting its banks might raise to a meter, for example, make sure your servers are stored above a meter because clearly if it floods, that will destroy the computers, it will destroy any paper you've got, it will cause lots of damage. And so being cautious of that might mean placing your important things maybe on shelves, maybe higher up. The last physical measures I'm going to talk about are fairly obvious ones actually, but still you can definitely write about in exams. These are locks. So individual workstations, so individual computers, and also whole rooms, so for example a server room, can be protected with locking systems. And this can just be a simple old-fashioned lock. Maybe you padlock a laptop to a desk so it can't be just stolen easily. But also it can be slightly more fancy systems like a keypad, which might require a pin to access your server room. If your server room contains all of your data, it's important that room is locked off so nobody can just wander in and access it. A keypad is a way to reduce that. A slightly more secure method might be to use biometrics. So biometrics are distinctive, measurable human characteristics. 
right? A key and a pin are not anything to do with humans really, but biometrics are. So for example, in a really fancy area, you might have an iris scanner, which is scanning the colored part of your eye, which is what the iris is, and that's unique. And so it allows access based on this. Other ones you would have come across are things like fingerprint scanners, which again, our fingerprints are unique. And so that can be used to identify us. These are biometrics because they're part of our human characteristics. They're part of us. And so this is a bit more secure because these are much harder for an attacker to fake, right? You, you can kind of fake a fingerprint, fake an iris, but I mean, it's so much work. And if you've got things like security guards, they're gonna spot that you're not who you say you are. So really hard to fake, and so they're more secure. And also, they can't be forgotten, right? I imagine if you've got just a keypad, people forget their pin quite often, but having a fingerprint as maybe a backup or as an alternative means that you're not gonna to have to constantly reset passwords, reset pin numbers. It's a little bit better from a company perspective. But obviously, these systems are probably a little bit more expensive to run. So there are drawbacks as well.